Hi, this is Dr. Dan from the Medical School Podcast. The first thing I want to say is that I am no way paid for this endorsement of the gold standard MCAT package at all. And why would I care as a physician about Dr. Ferdinand's gold standard MCAT? Seeing as I've already taken the MCAT, I've gone through medical school and internship and have passed all of the United States medical licensing exams. The reason is because I submitted a grant proposal to the National Institutes of Health and I was looking for an MCAT teacher that would be able to make a statistical difference to help pre-medical students increase their MCAT scores and get into medical school. And if it were, were up to me and I could pick anyone in the world that would sort of guarantee that I could publish a paper that would show that we could do that with our program, I, that's when I got interested and introduced to Dr. Brett Ferdinand with Gold Standard MCAT. So how did I decide? Well, I just sent him an email for a podcast interview, and he agreed. And we recorded three episodes of podcast interviews where we talked about MCAT strategies and that sort of thing. So not only was he a likable and humble guy, but I was just impressed that he's an actual physician, an MD, that still remembers all the details from the MCAT. And if you're a pre-med student, you don't yet realize how much of that information you are going to forget. Most MDs have practically forgotten all of their physics, for example. So why does being a physician matter when it comes to teaching the MCAT? Okay, one thing I like to do is look at the science behind why things work the way they work, particularly study techniques. And the reason is because the MCAT, the Association of American Medical Colleges, is not testing your rote memorization for the MCAT. They're testing your thinking. It's actually been shown scientifically and mathematically that there is such thing as an MCAT myth and it is not, it's just not true. It's been disproven. Let me take a moment to explain this. You can Google this document yourself if you want called Application of Bloom's Taxonomy Debunks the MCAT Myth. We discuss it in the podcast we recorded too on the Medical School Podcast. The MCAT myth says that rote memorization and the memorization of all of the information from the the medical school prerequisite courses is what's going to get you a good score on the MCAT and succeed in medical school and beyond. And that is a myth. And we're in the middle of a huge epidemic of pre-med advisors, uh, many of them all over the country, that are giving out false information about MCAT preparation. So I think understanding what the AAMC is looking for when they're testing on the MCAT makes a big difference and no one understands like that as well as a physician. So what do you think of what you know of the gold standard you know, MCAT courses and Dr. Ferdinand's approach to teaching so far? I mean, do you think his style is uh, not thorough enough or oversimplistic? I mean, if you look through the gold standard MCAT book, you'll see that it's not as dense and thick with minutia which is just tiny little details after details for memorization as all the other books. And for many students that come and, and cross his materials, that doesn't seem like it has as much information as all the other big, you know, expensive books anyway. Uh, and the reason is because he's taken the time as a physician to understand what's actually important for you to memorize and what's best understood by the application of the concepts and the principles behind the material. So here's what I think. Uh, memorize only what you need to. Dr. Ferdinand, I think, does a good job at, 